days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Yeah, and, and, and it always comes to the sacrifice of human life. And, and, the, and that is the greatest, to me, that's the greatest tale. I mean, when I say that's the greatest evidence of the differences in the kingdom of God and the kingdom of this world. Yeah. You, but you know, we God have to, never. I think we have it, to look at the I, definition. I, I'm sorry, brother, go ahead. No, it, the, 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 you cannot serve God and mammon. Once mammon becomes your issue, then God is not maybe not even in the picture at all but definitely on the back burner human life is what jesus died for human souls he didn't die for material profit or acquisition yeah he died for people so we look at the way that we do business the thing that should be most i mean most 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 uh important to us should be the well-being of another individual yeah if we're really serving if we're really serving according with the example that was given to us Jesus sacrificed everything in order to acquire us, a relationship with us, not our spell. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but it you was know what? That he was, he was going after. And that's the point, and that's the exact right point, because here's the here's the question. Now we're talking definitions. Because what is riches? What is wealth? Is it what the world has taught, or is it what the scriptures teach? Is it hoarding that that, that all resources and stockpiling, which makes you rich, or is that giving? and it shall be given unto you. Who's the richest? He that gives or he that hoards? I mean, so we have to look at the definition. If we're following uh, this westernized definition of this world system of what riches and wealth is, we're gonna get one definition. If we look to the scriptures and talk about what is riches, what is wealth, then I think we get a different definition. And so we right. just have to make sure that we're, because rich to who? I mean, what is rich based on what? based on the scriptures or based on uh capitalism and, and, and that's the beauty of it because right now the church and in the, the culture are really should be conflicting but we're trying to reconcile the culture with the church or the church with the culture and it ain't going to work because capitalism is not a part of the kingdom of god you cannot sell another person to make a profit or even use another person to make a profit you give up in order to edify that person but you cannot, human life, human souls are not to be bought and sold. That's just not what we do for, and, and you talk about the evidence of, of, of what should happen in, the, in our in our regions. Uh, Chinatown is like this, but in the kingdom of God, we're not capitalizing off anybody's effort, if, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm not saying effort, but after their, of their usage, we're not, slavery makes sense to me because of what's going on in our in our society right now yeah understand yeah. how we got there because we value money more than we do human life we value hoarding more than we do disseminating we value ourselves ourselves more than we do other people so right. we're like animals that carnality that carnal mind that darwinism play is it's, it's evidence through what we're doing and our society is trying to i think lack of a better word trying to to reconcile Darwinism with the kingdom of God and it, it don't work like that it just doesn't you can use it in business in the United States of America but it doesn't work in the kingdom exactly in other words the kingdom way look look I'm just trying to throw some in and check this out how do I accumulate well by the kingdom's way or how, how do we can accumulate wealth by the world's way let me ask you this question how do i define wealth how do i define wealth by the kingdom's way or by the world's way? exactly <laughs> well, well i'm almost i'm almost the fact is it's not only defining the wealth but how you got there <laughs> i'm telling about the fact is that the, if you had to be brutal if you had to be selfish Matter of fact, that that's matter of fact, the kingdom's wealth, the kingdom of God's wealth, is dying to self. The world way is not dying to self, but dying, causing others to die for you. Now you preach it. To get where you want to get to. That's right. 
that's the big difference. That way, I think that was Vince was all talking about saying, you gotta die to self. You, you gotta learn to move out of the way so that the God can have his way, right? You, you have to die to self. And this scripture, it, you know, when we're looking at that, Jim, and that scripture is reading, it is talking about death and Adam, life in Christ. We have to die to ourselves. We, as those we're ministering to, as well as ourselves, is dying daily to self and allow life to come through. Even Jesus said that a, a seed can't grow unless it what? It dies. It falls in the ground. Yeah. I mean, it's everything, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it natural? I mean, truly, truly? <laughs> I but it's not, it's, it's not, I think westernization of the scriptures perverted them. And this yeah. is what we're living under a perverse uh, 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 a manifestation of what the kingdom of God is. United States of America does not evidence the kingdom that Christ preached. And unfortunately, we've tried to reconcile the two. There is no reconciliation in that. No. It does not teach selflessness it teaches selfishness. It does not teach, you know, self-abasement. It teaches self-exhortation. Yes. It does not teach edifying and looking out. And the Bible itself tells us be more concerned with the affairs of other people than you are concerned with the affairs of yourself. Exactly. So the love of God demonstrated through us should take on that guy more so than anything else. Yeah. And Vincent, get ready to say something. Vincent, why?